Hello, my name is Matthew Hahn. I'm a senior lecturer at St. Mary's University, Twickenham. In April, we'll be taking 25 students to Durban, South Africa, as a part of their applied theater program in their theater for development. We're very excited to be going to South Africa this year, the 20th anniversary of democracy, and we're looking forward to celebrating the anniversary in Durban. Uh, the program here at St. Mary's University is a theater for development program where we encourage cultural exchange between the British students here at St. Mary's and the young people in and around Durban. We'll be working in community centers, we'll be working in schools, and we'll be working in universities, looking at how, what the similarities are between cultures in the UK and the differences in South Africa, and trying to find a common uh, bridge between the two. Uh, this has been going on for three years. This will be our third year in South Africa, and we're very excited to be, uh, to be coming back. Hi, my name is Maya. I'm from uh, Drama and Applied Theatre in third year, and I'm just going to talk to you about uh, the training that we're doing for our South Africa trip in April. Uh, we've been doing a lot of workshop training, so we've been getting into groups and rehearsing different workshop styles, um, as well as forum theatre styles as well, uh, and looking at the, different, uh, the difficulties that we share with uh, the schools in South Africa, as well as over here and the uh, culture exchange that we're getting from that. And to do with the workshops, we're doing a lot of storytelling. And the difficulty that we're going to have is uh, the connection that we'll have through, uh, through languages. So we've been looking a lot of, uh, at music and the way that we can communicate through mu music. Um, and we've looked at a lot of uh, celebration and carnival culture. So we're looking at, uh, again, music and puppetry and ways that we can express this and celebrate through that. Um, and we've done um, a lot of presentations as well to learn about the culture in South Africa and the difficulties that we'll be facing out there and the diversity and similarities between Britain and South Africa. It's difficult to pinpoint our expectations when we're going somewhere we've never been before and going to do something we've never done before. Although we're going somewhere where the culture is different, we hope to experience the same things that they'll experience from us. We hope that our knowledge and our experiences will impact them and their experiences and knowledge will impact us. Ultimately, we expect to have a safe and fun time once we go, but at the same time, we don't really know what to expect. It's just exciting knowing that when we get out there, it's going to be great. Hi, my name is Jasmine and we are drama students from St Mary's University. As a group, we hope to achieve a safe flight there and back, and we hope to learn something about their culture and ourselves. We hope that the students and the other young people that we work with will understand what we are doing and what we are there for. We hope to combine our culture and celebrate with them through the Easter period. We hope to give and receive something through the experience, i.e. social skills, morals and culture, and the biggest of them all, communication skills. And overall, we hope to have a really, really good time. Um, we've had a few concerns about our visit to South Africa, but we're also mainly really excited and our excitement outweighs all of our concerns. But we are worried that um, we're spending such little time there, will we be able to justly convey our culture to them and receive theirs just as well? We're worried that all the skills we've learned won't be demonstrated well enough in the short space of time. And um, we're also worried that there'll be a little bit of communication issues. We're, we're concerned that um, uh, we won't be able to give our ideas to them in a way that we want them to understand. And we wor we worry that there might be not necessarily even a language barrier, but a cultural barrier where um, they don't understand us and we don't understand them. And we want to really try and get past that. We're also worried about heat <laughs> and the climate and the bugs and the sharks and anything that could kill us. <laughs> <laughs> but we're really excited about going and we're, we're really going to push past any of those worries. Um, there's one more that I can't remember. I think preparation and what we're going to take with us and what we're going to do and um, do we need towels and do we need food and <laughs> what we're going to take with us. But I think all of that should be done before we leave. I'm really looking forward to my students going to South Africa. It'll be the first time they have all been to Africa, let alone South Africa. And they're, they're a bit concerned and they're a bit scared, but they're all very excited. And they're most excited because they'll be given an opportunity to use the skills they've been working on for the past two years on the applied theater course here in a very different setting to the ones that they are used to. Uh, and I'm looking forward to them using that using those skills in South Africa, but then also thinking about the future as well and looking at how they can use these skills that they've learned in South Africa to spread um, around the world in their future jobs. And also I hope that for them to take away a love of the country, like the love that I have for South Africa 
and whether they return to South Africa or go elsewhere, they'll always have the memories of a wonderful time in South Africa with them.